Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ankush. In our today's video, we are going to discuss about the Spark language. So nowadays, there are many people I saw that they are trying for the Hadoop developer position and they want to start their career as a Hadoop developer. But if you go for an interview and you don't have the experience with the Spark kind of technology, then it is quite difficult for you to crack the interview. So there was a time whenever uh, we should have the knowledge about the high peak. But nowadays, you know, if you just go with the high knowledge and if you ask that you are looking for a Hadoop developer position, then it is quite difficult to get a job because along with the high, they are also expecting you that you should have the knowledge related to the spark or you can also have it's always good if you have the knowledge about the Kafka also. Now let's talk about the Spark only. So now if you know that the Spark is a framework which is supported by the different different languages. So what are all those languages are there? So the first language that is related to the Java, which is object oriented language. Second one is your Scala, then Python and R. So it is not necessary that you should have the knowledge about all the language along with the Spark. No. If you just have the knowledge about the Java along with the Spark, that is fine because there are a lot of clients are there. They are looking for the candidates, those who have the knowledge about the Spark with Java, those who are having the knowledge with Spark with Scala, those who are having the knowledge with Spark with Python also. So some of the clients are looking for Java, some of the looking for Spark, some of the looking for Python. So that is all depend upon project to project requirement. So among all those language, if you have the knowledge about only one language that is more than enough for you. Again, there are few clients. Let's say one client is looking for Python and the resource which is coming for the interview. He don't have the knowledge about the Python, but he knows Spark very well. So that is fine. Some people, some client are good in the nature that they are looking for cross chain also in the technology because one person cannot be having the knowledge about all the technology. That is not something where you can have the handles like where you can have the, you know, efforts and the, you can say the strong point in all the technology that is not possible. So we completely understand the things. So as soon as you are getting the requirement, we are trying to learn those technology. So the basic idea behind to create this video is that if you want to crack the Hadoop development, uh, any interview, you should have the knowledge about Spark. That is must now. Now, if you are saying that you don't have the knowledge about the programming language, then it is quite difficult so i would request all of my subscribers those who are looking for hadoop development project go for the spark along with this your hive is there scoop is there that are all needed your hadoop ecosystem is most mostly important but if you want to grab a good opportunity good project high package then go for the spark with any one programming language so if you know Java, okay, now what you can do, just strong yourself in the Java only. Don't look for the all the languages because I what I observe in a number of students that if you know the small, small things uh, regarding all the language, then there is a very less probability that you are strong in one language. So better you put the efforts in one language again. Uh, most of the language are quite similar their syntax may be changed but most of the concept are similar only so i would request you to take one language whatever you want to take whether you can target to the java whether you can target to the python or scala whatever it is but also go for the spark spark is must and then you can look for the scoop hio uzi uh, kafka kafka nowadays the people are using the java so if you know java then definitely there are a lot of things you can perform. Java is a very huge platform where, you know, uh, the interviewer can expect you that you should know the oops concept. Nowadays, Java 8 is there. There are a lot of new things are coming into the Java 8. So you should know all the stuffs. In Python also, you can have a different, different libraries are there like pandas. So <laughs> the expectation is too much high. Okay. So don't waste your time. Uh, take the advantages of this free time where the people are, most of the people are working from home and start practicing yourself. 
if you want to start a practicing for spark you can use the community edition which is completely free of cost you don't need to set up the cluster go there create a free account and then start doing practicing over there you have the access to the spark ui and you can monitor a lot of stuff over there with the free of cost everything so that is all uh, things which i want to share with you if you have any suggestions anything just put it in the comment section definitely i'll be creating more videos on that thank you so much guys and please do like subscribe and share my channel and if you really like this video then give a thumbs up bye bye